All right, welcome to the video, guys. A really, really quick update before this video starts. As you guys know, we are wrapping the Lamborghini. Now, I just wanna say this is the last video before the huge reveal video Friday night. Do not miss it. The wrap was actually completed today, just in time for the huge reveal after being in the works for weeks and weeks and weeks. I just saw the finished wrap in person and I'm telling you right now, it will blow all of you guys away and it'll likely be one of the craziest wraps ever done on YouTube. If you guys don't know already, I've given a few little teasers away on Instagram. So if you haven't seen them yet, go here and check them out at JR Garage YouTube. No other teasers or sneak peeks will be revealed before the big video on Friday, except for one that will go up on my Snapchat tonight. So if you don't have me on Snapchat yet, you're missing out, add me right here, screenshot that, or add me at JR Garage YouTube, and you will be able to see this one special sneak peek. All right, that is all I have for you guys. The wrap is going to be beyond insane. I hope you guys are as hyped as I am. Enough of me talking, let's get into today's video where we talk about the dealership nearly screwing me out thousands of dollars. I know it's a lot of me and Christian just talking, but please listen along because it's a pretty crazy story that you're gonna wanna hear. All right, hope you guys enjoy. Stay. Okay guys, you know from the previous video with the Viper, what happened to my Viper? I'm like, I have a story time video coming soon. We need to talk about it. Something happened, some stuff happened. That's this video. All right, so once upon a time with the Viper, we had two issues. One of which being an evap leak. It throws up a check engine light, does not affect performance at all. That's that check engine light that you guys have seen in some videos. That was one issue. Second issue was really bizarre. The moment you put the car into reverse, Christmas tree of lights, the ABS light would come on, yep. the brake light. brake light would come on, and the speedometer would stop working, which also means the odometer stops working, and your blower motor stops. And the reverse lights and don't work. your reverse lights go out. So all this, we, it took yeah. us months to figure out what the frig but is then, going on. So I didn't really know where to start. It'll be over at the dealership, and maybe they have some great diagnostic tools, or they're a Dodge dealership, they've seen these cars a lot, they know exactly. Right, so we're like, why are we gonna yeah. try to track that if we don't exactly know what it is? Maybe it's something simple, they can diagnose it for cheap, so we're like, so here's the car. Diagnose yep. it, don't spend too long on anything, just yeah. let us know if it's something easy. So they next, send us back an email. Yeah, so next day, days later. I get back an email uh, here listed below as a breakdown of the repairs we talked about. Uh, so for the evap leak, they needed to cut a hole in the trunk, which yeah, you do need to do on Vipers to find exactly where the leak is. And they wanted $850 plus $1,200. They wanted $2,050 just to locate where the evap leak was. So they come back on this email and they're like, okay, good news, we found what your check engine light was on for. It's on for an evap, EVAP leak. We already knew that. And we were like, I was like, I wrote that down on the work order for you guys. So they solved absolutely nothing in that department. So they solved and, nothing there. And, and then um, what up, the ABS thing. And they, they, figured, and they, they still, figured out what that was. They and diagnosed they, that. They still wanted the $2,050 to pinpoint exactly where the leak was oh, and I will tell you we'll talk well, about that I'll in a get, second I'll get into that later and then the ABS and thing. then the ABS issue uh, they diagnosed it to be the ABS computer module and they wanted to replace that at $1,450. Ship in the parts and take about yeah. a week. And then they also include a bunch of other goodies. So the total came to what that they wanted to fix? 7,700, I added $7,750. $7,750 is the bill they handed us. So we are not having any of that. So we're like, okay, I'll just come in and, and get the So we're like, back let's, let's we'll, sit down and talk. We'll so talk he, he ran over that and we're like, you gotta be kidding me on some of these things. We're American. So we said, no, like just yeah. no, thanks for your time. So we'll take the car back and we'll okay. try to figure out some things ourselves because we're but not about to pay they that. They still insisted that they gave us a professional diagnosis. And so yeah, we, had to pay, we had to pay 450 or- It's like 470. Or $500. So they gave us a bill for $470 to diagnose these two problems. And of course we had to pay it to get the car back to then fix on our own. Like so. even at that point we were kind of pissed with 470. It's like yeah. one, you didn't even diagnose the one thing. Okay, ABS module, that could be new news. So like, okay, but $470, yeah, so we were, we were okay with. So this is where it gets very, very good. We took the car back, said, no siree, we're, we're just not paying it. We paid them a stupid amount of money to diagnose it, but we're like, screw it, fine. 
He Bring calls it. his buddy who knows Bring Vipers it. inside and out. I told him, well, I got this crazy problem when I shift into reverse. And he's like, say no more. Let me guess. Your reverse lights go out, your ABS light comes on, your brake light, your spinometer doesn't work. And I'm like, yeah. Precisely. And, he, and he's like, yep, common Viper problem. So we're like, what is it? We're like, is it the ABS module that they're telling us we need to replace? And he's like, no, it's this $20 part that bolts on the transmission. So we still haven't put it on. This is just the beginning of the video. But in this video, we're going to swap out that part and see if that fixes Hopefully all of our problems. it should. And by the way, a few days ago, we, we addressed the EVAP leak. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. So remember, they wanted to charge us $2,000 just to figure out where the EVAP leak was. And then a bunch more after that, remove the gas tank, all this stuff. What happened, Christian? So, there's an access cover on the top of the fuel pump or fuel level center like there is on like almost all cars. So, I pop off the access cover. Granted, I did have to take off the 10 bolts that bolted the convertible top and prop that up. And, um, but once you and yeah, I just popped off the cover and there's just all, all, the, all the fuel evap and, and all the systems are and all the va vacuum lines and stuff are right there on the top of the tank that, that run. And yeah, there's just loose connections that you had that I had to redo. That's all. And so he puts it back. All so he puts it back. Check engine lights gone. Problem solved. So one problem fixed. Good. Thousands of dollars saved, and now we're on to the second problem. So this is where we're at. Twenty dollar part. We bought the new part, yep. and we're gonna go swap it out right now. So that's what this video is gonna include. I'm telling you right now, if this fixes the problem, I will jump for joy and we can say we've saved thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and you better, well, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. And then we know we can publish this video. So if right. this video is up, if I this video is up, something. this probably means we fixed the car. So let's go back and get into this project and go see if we can fix the Viper. All right. So here is the part, big box yet little part. So that's all it is. This tiny this. little part. $20 part. Yep. A little reverse switch. So we will uh, start the Viper up here, get it up where there's more light, and throw it up on the ramp. Then we'll get into this. And we'll dive in. Let's this. see if this can fix it. All right, old part out, new part going in, and oh my goodness, that was like the simplest job, and yet the most annoying job. If I had just had a ratcheting open end wrench, or a box end wrench, instead of this box end wrench, I would have been done in like 30 seconds, but I just had just a little bit of throw on the wrench, even with it being a 12 point internal wrench. If you can make it out or not, that is the piece that we replaced, that's the connector, and what it connects to is the reverse switch that I just replaced. Hopefully I'm just gonna plug that bad boy right in. All right, Christian, the moment of truth. Will this $20 part fix our $2,500 problem? Pretty crazy. So remember guys, so the dealership, charged us $500 to diagnose this problem and one other problem they found. And we think if this solves it, they diagnosed it wrong, A, and they quoted us for a new part that didn't yeah. even need to be fixed. Okay, the moment of truth. Will the lights come on? Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Yay! Yes! Yes! We did it, Christian! Boom! Problem solved. Let's go take it for a little drive.
usually an American uh, car guy, but it gives my approval. Bam! Christian, how excited are you? Test drive complete, and what do you know? Problem yeah. solved. Thousands upon thousands of dollars saved. Think, just think about if we approve their spending and approve yeah, the five I mean, that's, grand. That's the thing, a lot of people just, okay, it is what it is and, and they pay it. Huge shout out to the buddy, because without him, that's so funny, yeah. he's like, that's, the, that's that part, of course. 20 bucks. Say like, no more. It's like, bro, fix that. And we fixed it, problem solved. It was so funny, uh, I was on the phone with him and he's like, oh, you took it to the dealership? Yeah. Needless to say, I think we'll be paying the dealer another visit. Kind of a, a big thing that we just remembered when we got to the Dodge dealership, um, kind of the first thing when, when we like asked for more explanation or kind of disputed it a little bit. This was ridiculous. The first, the first like answer that they give is, oh no, you, you guys got off easy. Most Vipers when they come in here, it's a, it's a on average $10,000 bill. They say when yeah. a Viper enters service, it's about $10,000. What the frick are you saying? Even, even <sighs> if that was true, that's not like, that, that doesn't matter. So. I couldn't believe, what are you talking about? So we got the worst vibe from there. It, it wasn't a good experience, so we'll be paying them a visit, yep. maybe try to get some of this. So just mistakes. keep an eye out for a follow-up video a few weeks down the road or something. We'll tack it on somewhere, our visit back to the dog. Right, so there you go. Viper is 100% ready to yeah. go. I'm so hyped. So bucks. from like $5,000 to $20. So we saved ourselves $4,980. That's a nice Not a bad day. That is why you do your work yourself. Um, that's what we've always done, done a lot of work ourselves, being handy with stuff, it's really paid off. So what do you guys think? Now that it's 100% ready to go, um, I think we put a little boost on it. You, Boy, you think a little boost? I think it's already too fast. Uh, that's, that's what I'm thinking. So if you made it this far, comment down below if we should boost the Viper or not. And uh, yeah, yeah, if you made it this far, only for people who made it this far, it's between me and you. I'm thinking, I'm messaging some supercharging companies. I'm trying to get a supercharging system for that car. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think. Also let us know what you think about the whole dealership experience. Oh, have you guys ever been in a situation where yeah. dealership quoted you or tried to screw we, you over? We can't be the only ones. The yeah. It, it, it happens. So comment down below if you got a similar story. We want to hear it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Let's spread this thing around. Get some awareness on this stuff because this is just straight up ridiculous. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll, uh, we'll see you here in the next one. Peace.